Lost in Space, an adventure with Rocky Star. <laughs> When Ilma was carried off by a great flying lizard, Paul and Ivan used the Astrosian anti-gravity belts to follow. Finally, the monsters led them to a barren range of hills where they had a nest in a cleft. One attacked the boys and was killed by ray fire. The other was slaughtered in the crevice to which it had brought its victim. But no sooner had Ilma recovered from her faint of terror than there was the mighty beating of wings and great shadows crossed and recrossed the opening above their heads. Listen, the place is swarming with those monsters. They must know we're here. Oh, it's no good. We'll never escape. Oh. We didn't come all this way and slaughter two of those things just to finish up this dinner for their relatives. Oh, who will stink down it's here? terrible. Come on, Ivan, let's get out. You mean you want to go up there now? Well, sure. Let's go up and shoot it out with those things. Oh, but there seems so many. But if we do. expose ourselves, there will be no hope. Oh, well, look, we can't draw a bead on them from down here. Just waiting for them to swoop past that gap up there. Look, here we are in a good defensive position. For my money, we're just cooped up. It is difficult for them to get at us in this narrow space. Then please, let's stay here. I couldn't face them again. Oh, look, Ilma. All I want to do is try and clear the way so we can get the heck out of here. Look, once you get above the edge of that rock up there, you'll be exposed. Half a dozen could swoop down on you all at once. Oh, yeah. Well, then what do we do? You suggest a better idea. Well, let me see now. Have a good look around us. Look, look, see up there. There is a ledge just three or four feet from the top. Now, perhaps if you could reach that. Oh, I get you. Pop up, take a shot at them, and then duck back again. Yes, that is right. Well, well, come on then. Let's try it. Now, be careful when you set the gravity belt. If we rise too quickly, we may be out of the cliff before we can stop. Oh, please be careful, Ivan. We promise, Ilma. Now, are you right, Paul? All right. Don't let them get hold of you. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. This should do it, Ivan. The ledge is quite wide. When we stand, our head and shoulders will be above the edge. Yeah. Hey, look out! Oh, its talons missed me by inches. Shoot, Paul. Let them have it. For a moment, the two boys crouch against the sheltering rock. Then they rise and stand. Huge, scaly bodies soar and wheel above. Hooded eyes glare balefully. Mighty wings clash and rustle. With a swooping dive, two of the creatures hurtle downwards, talons outstretched viciously. The ray guns spit, and with a screaming squawk, one body is plummeting to earth. The second flutters weakly above the rocky crags, lands, topples sideways, and lies still. But there are others, many others. The fight rages for a long time. We must have killed a dozen of them, Ivan. Yes, unfortunately, there are still many more. Oh, look, how long did we get away with it? Look up, Paul! <laughs> Thanks. They just don't give up. Ah, oh, missed. Careful, it will swoop around. Keep down that and... Oh. Oh, that is strange. It's gone right on. Flying down that way. Yes. Look. Look, Paul, there are hardly any left. Oh, don't tell me we've scared them off at last. I'm going to risk taking a look. You're not climbing right out of here. Just for a moment. Cover me with your pistol. <coughs> you right? Oh, can you yeah. see anything, Evan? Yes. A sort of cannibal feast. Oh. They have turned to the ones we killed. Well, like those other things did. It might be our chance to get away while they are still occupied. Okay, oh. well, let's get moving. Fast. Coming down, Ilma. Have they gone? Have they really gone? <sighs> we slaughtered about a dozen. They all think that's too good a feat to be missed. Mind up below. Just move aside. 
We're going to try to get away from here, Ilma. Oh, then let's go quickly. Nice weather for a flight. It's actually stopped raining. We will take you by an arm each, as we did before. And use the gravity belt. Oh, it's going to be a long carry back to the ship, Ivan. Yes. Oh, Ilma, you had better put an arm around each of our shoulders. There. That would be better. Well, come on, let's shake it up. Before those things come looking for a dessert. Is this right? Yes, that is right. Now, hold tight, please. Here we go. Oh, listen to them. Yeah. Quite a party they're having. Let's hope none of them notice us. Keep rising. They're too busy quarreling to... Hey, say, there's one that's seen us. He's coming after us. I will deal with him. You keep a tight hold on Uma. Yvonne, shoot him quickly. I want you to make sure. Got it. Oh, too close. What is it? What happened? We're going down. Oh, it's, it's wing caught me. Oh, no. Look at the, that pig on the rock. Look out! Oh, we just grazed it. Oh, more than grazed, I'm afraid. Yvonne, are you hurt? No, my belt took the jar. Oh, we're rising again. At least those things aren't following. Yeah, you can relax now, honey. All we have to do is get a bearing back to the Taurus. Yes, let us see. Beyond that fork stream, I think, in line with the double hill. Right. Well, now we just hope nothing else attacks us on the way. Keeping a tight hold on each other... They float onwards. A strange sight. Three civilized beings adrift over a tangled wilderness of savagery and peril. Meanwhile, the streak is passing only a few hundred miles out in space. Hey, Ruggy boy, this sure is interesting. Hmm? Yeah, it's like looking back into the past. Uh huh. Think you ought to take a look. Oh, why don't you? Yeah, good idea. Well, come on, then, boy. Hmm? What? I said, come on. Come on. Come on, what? Have a look. Oh, Mitch, what are you talking about? What am I talking... Giggling grasshoppers I like. You just said it'd be a good idea. Hmm? I don't know. When you get your nose stuck in those books, you just go into some sort of trance or something. Oh, well, Mitch, you can't study celestial mathematics without concentration, you what? know. What? Celestial mathematics. Ah. Anyway, don't worry. If we're ever going to get back to Earth, I've got to find the formula that'll get us there. You know that. Here... Hey, what's that you've got on the radar screen? Oh, I've been taking a peek at that planet we're passing. It's right in the beam now. Hmm? Sure is prehistoric looking. Hey, let me see. See those great blobs moving about in the radar pattern? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, I'll get it clearer. Just a sec. I'll boost it up. All right. There we are. Now, if those aren't prehistoric monsters, you can shoot me. Hey, yes, I think you're right. Jungles, swamps, and monsters. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I was about right in what I expected of that place, Mitch. Yeah, sure were, Rocky. Wouldn't like to try and make a happy home down there. Mm. Oh, man, if we can't get out of this neck of the universe, I hope we can find some place where a guy could settle down. Hey, you know, Di ought to get a look at this. Yeah, she's uh, writing a report on the plutonium spectrum she picked up. Mm. Hey, you know, it's pity there's all that cloud there. We can only get a radar pattern on the telescreen that would really be worth seeing. Say, there's a mighty monster of some sort. Yeah? Wonder what that could be, huh? Where? Over there. See, wait a minute. I'll blow it up a little right, bit bring further to see if I can get it. All that cloud, you really don't see much at no, all. No, you know? look, I'll bring in the reactivator and boost it up on the uh, ignition circuit there, you see? All right. right. Just get it Steady. up. Don't yeah. go too high now. Nah, how's that, huh? Oh, yeah. What do you think? It looks like a monster to me. Yeah, it does. In a way, I, I can't imagine what it could be. It... No. Nah. Hey. Hmm? I don't bully. What? Hey, Mitch, look. It, it's almost like... A... Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, it could be, too. Just what I was starting to think. A rocket ship. Well, it, it is a rocket ship, I'm sure, Mitch. Yeah, just a second. Come, bring it up a little clearer, yeah. can you? There we are. Oh, funny I could get down or below these clouds, but I'm too down down now. Nah. Yeah, it looks like Earth design, too. Yeah. Hey, Rocky. You don't think maybe that could be the Taurus, do you? The Taurus? Yeah. Mitch, it must be. Ah, uh, no. Nah. No, nah, look, maybe we're just kidding ourselves, Rocky. You know, it's a pretty long range. It looks very, very fuzzy around the edges there. Yeah. Can't really get a clear image. For all we know, there's something else down there that's the same shape. 
Uh, as the, the, the spaceship. Yeah. But it seems too much of a coincidence, Mitch. Oh, I mean, what else could possibly be that shape, really? I don't know. Wait a minute. Stand by. Rocky on intercom, Di. Can you hear me, Di? It's Rocky on intercom. Stand by. We're changing course. You going down there, Rocky? You bet I am, Mitch. If that is the Taurus, we'll soon know. Still carry me? Sure, Elma. Quit worrying. Oh, it must be such a strain. It, it is nothing, Elma. Do not worry. But there is something else worrying me. Yeah, me too. Then you have noticed, Paul. We're losing height. I thought perhaps I imagined it. Ever since we left the hills, we've been coming down the sort of long glide. Going down? But that has landed in the jungle. Yes, I know. Perhaps your anti-gravity belt found it at the right control. Well, mine is. I, I I will check mine again. Yes. Yes, it's the same as last time. I've checked it several times. But if we come down... Oh, cheer up, Ilma. We'll make it. Ivan, do you think you can fly level with the two of us? If you low all the time, it makes it a bit hard on me. I'm afraid I cannot help it. And, Paul, I'm sorry to say it is getting worse. You remember when we crashed into the rock? This little box on the right-hand side of my belt took the full force. You mean it's damaged? I'm afraid so. And steadily getting worse. Well, why didn't you tell us? I thought there was no need to worry. You weren't unnecessary. I... Paul! You're dragging us both down. Do something, Ivan. There's nothing I can do. I've tried. Oh, we're slipping down. We're going fast oh, and quick. My belt has failed. We will have to land and travel the rest on foot. <laughs> In a steady sideways glide, the three figures slip down toward the sodden jungle below. Can they possibly reach safety on foot when the miles they must travel are roamed by savage monsters of every kind? There are thrills and excitement ahead, so don't miss the next chapter of this Rocky Star adventure, Lost in Space! (laughs) 